So let's move to another news that quite like a hot issue mm -hmm. in global. So the leaders and people around the world are mourning the death of one of the world's spiritual leaders, mm -hmm. Thich Nhat Han. Yesterday is the first day of his funeral ceremony, and Kuvitya has more detail about that. Thank you, Kun Ping. For those who do not know much about Thich Nhat Han, we have a story for you. At midnight on Saturday, the world lost an important Buddhist, one of the most influential Buddhist monks who brought the concept of mindfulness to the West. Thich Nhat Hanh, he died on January 23rd at the age of 95. The International Plum Village Community of Engaged Buddhism said in a statement that the monk and peace activist passed away peacefully at Tu Hill temple in his birthplace way in central Vietnam. Funeral rites are holding in way for five days. He used to tell the monks like this, if one day I die, don't build me a tomb tower. It costs money. It costs the people mm -hmm. land. Our people are still very poor, but burn me, my ashes, divide them, then give them to plum village monasteries around the world and spread them on the roads where you go to meditate every day. In doing so, you and I will still go on walking meditation together every day. Uh, he brought, he's a guy, he's a person who brought mindfulness to the West from Hollywood to Silicon Valley. He just was allowed only allowed to return to Vietnam after 39 years in exile in France. He was banished from his home in 1966 for calling for an end to the Vietnam War. The Zen master, whose influence in Buddhism has, is seen as second only to the Dalai Lama, was also expelled. Dalai Lama was also expelled for advocating religious freedom, especially in the communist country where all faiths are strictly controlled. He has lived in Plum Village in southern France for decades, traveling regularly throughout North America and Europe to give lectures on mindfulness and peace. He met Martin Luther, Martin Luther King Jr., who nominated him for the Nobel Peace Prize in 1967 for his well-known peace and non-violent approaches. During his time in the ways, he wrote more than 120 books on mindfulness and meditation in Vietnamese, English, and French before he was allowed to return and see out his final days at Tu Hill Temple under closed police vigil in 2018. On Saturday, Martin, Martin Luther King's daughter, Benice, posted a photograph of her father and him on Twitter with the caption, my father with his friend and ally, Thich Nhat Hanh, hashtag, who died this week, I celebrate and honor Thich Nhat Hanh's life and global influence for peace. Rahul Kanti, a member of the, the Indian National Congress and grandson of the late PM Indira Kanti, tweeted, my condolences to the followers of Saint Master Thich Nhat Hanh, the father of mindfulness, his gentle words on peace, gratitude, and non-violence will ring through forever. Good mm -hmm. I can see that Twitter is also a great tool of communication and sharing uh, feelings mm -hmm. and condolences. Mm -hmm. So the Dalai Lama actually praised his dedications uh, to building peace also and on and Nhat Hanh's official Twitter account, he even mm -hmm. called the Vietnamese Buddhist monk as my friend and spiritual brother. Let's have a look at the uh, letter, condolence letter from the Dalai Lama. He mentioned that in his peaceful opposition to the Vietnam War, his support for Martin Luther King and most of all his dedication to sharing with others, not only how mindfulness and compassion contribute to inner peace but also how individuals cultivating peace of mind contributes to genuine world peace, showing that venerable live a truly meaningful life. So for his biography, 
Nathan was born in 1926 at the Turtian Wei province. He later joined the Duhu Temple in Wei as a novice monk at the at the age of 16, and he became a monk at the age of 23. And he started at practice Zen Buddhism from 1942. He was not only a monk, but also a culturalist, writer, poet, scholar, and calligrapher. He also founded Plum Village monasteries in France and Thailand. And in the book In the Buddhist World, from Professor John Powell's an Australian Buddhist scholar, among the selected 13 monks who had contributed to the formations and development of world Buddhism over the past 2,500 years, uh, Nathan was also selected and be in the 10th place in his book. Mm -hmm. Wow. So in peace, 